Hello everyone, welcome back to my related to coffee channel and today I would like to try with you guys the Starbucks white mocha which is suitable to uh, Nescafe Dolce Gusto machine uh, I'm so excited to try that uh, with you guys uh, actually this but it's um, not available in all the countries yet uh, but uh, I'm 100% it is I was purchasing it from Europe so you can easily find it in Europe but other countries I do not know if it is available or not because my country this part is not available so uh, let us uh, see what they are written in here in the box it has six serving cup of coffee as you can see here it's um, uh, inside this box 12 capsules and uh, each serving contains one for milk uh, mixed with the white mocha natural flavor <coughs> and uh, other parts for the espresso or I mean the Starbucks signature espresso here are the ingredients they write like 62.7% uh, milk sugar 34.7% which is too much I believe yeah then with the natural uh, flavors uh, some salt um, something like that uh, while the other capsules is purely um, they write it uh, roasted uh, arabic espresso here is the um, white mocha details how much calories like that we can see here for the two buds uh, the calorie is 70 I mean the total cup of coffee you will prepare by this one 70 calories contains and also the fat uh, 2.5 grams with the saturated 5.6 uh, after that the carbs we are getting here around uh, 9.1 saturated um, 8.8 uh, I mean sorry the 9.1 these um, carbs then 8.8 .8 grams the sugar yeah and uh, the salt 0 0.12 uh, protein 2.6 uh, yeah that's um, the details of the um, uh, calories and like that so yeah let's see now how uh, the most important here is the taste how to prepare it uh, the uh, milk uh, on the line before the end by two uh, it will give you 170 ml milk uh, then 30 ml of a espresso i will make it uh, 40 ml so i will go or 50 ml so i will go two line instead of one line because i like my coffee to be strong but still uh, always starbucks uh, for the any um, flavor they are releasing it they recommend to go by one line i don't know why maybe they thought that their espresso is too strong so it will like um, disturb the uh, flavor of the milk mixed with the flavored so this is my mug I will just uh, take from here when uh, the milk first then I will put it here and I will go line before two and I will start brewing it Very smooth as you can see. That's Starbox White Mocha. We are getting here the there's um, the milk pot with the flavors of the white mocha, sugar, salt, natural um, flavored as they mention. Yeah, so let's take our capsules and we will let's spin. Now we will take the another buds, which is the espresso buds. I don't know they are using the uh, blondie roast or their dark roast signatures. They did not mention that. But always for the Dolce Gusto, I believe they use the uh, strong um, their signatures. Uh, I mean the dark crust. So this is this. I will put it on the second, and I will put it extra strong. Uh, I mean the the intense of the coffee by the boost here. I will just press it, and I will wait till this light being stopped. 
to uh, to indicate that your um, setting is ready. Yeah, now it's ready, so I will just start to prune. So this is my coffee. It looks so yummy. Still the light is going on. So we have to wait because still the throbbing is not yet uh, stopped. Yeah, now my coffee is uh, ready. So uh, let's just mix that uh, things. Like I will just put my spoon to mix the uh, things very well. Or you know, I just will make the space first. Yeah, I'm adjusting the trays to the bottom, and I will uh, just start uh, mixing it. It's really yummy at the cream and. Uh, looks so delicious guys yeah it's color as you can see not that much of strong but it is very nice color we are getting here so uh, let's try it so Starbucks uh, white mocha and it's cafe Dolce Gusto let's give it a taste mmm Oh yeah, mm, that's so yummy and it's very smooth cup of coffee, um, but um, that white mocha flavor is not that much of very strong, it's a still strong cup of coffee I believe, The uh, it's very straight cup of coffee with a hint of the flavor of the white mocha, but this cup is not that much of sweet but it is intense in the flavor yeah that the sweetness is less but it's very smooth cup of coffee if I compare this one with the uh, Starbucks um, uh, toffee nuts I love the toffee nuts much more because the toffee nuts is uh, more intense in the uh, flavors and but this one is much smoother of from the uh, compared to the toffee nuts this is much smoother but I believe it's good cup of coffee yeah it's chocolatey creamy um, some biscuity is there yeah I really uh, feel that this cup of coffee is so unique and nice um, and it's not that much for the uh, if you love the, your coffee to be sweet and you thought this one is very sweet I don't believe this is uh, meant for you this is like if you like the flavor without the sweetness and um, you want to feel like something different from the latte versions with the hints of the white chocolate uh, smooth silky milk you can go for uh, trying this one it's really good and yummy the smell itself is so white chocolatey smell yeah that's really really good cup of coffee for me i really love it and i really like it and i recommend you guys to try it uh, but don't expect that it will be matching with the white uh, mocha what you are purchasing in the starbucks because at the end this is just the natural flavors powder into it so it will be very different than uh, the sauce of starbucks what they are using in the stores but at least it will give you the feeling of the white chocolate mocha also it's good signatures or good like you have these things from Starbucks we know that we there's caramel flavor there's stuff in it limited edition there is um, uh, vanilla for me the vanilla it's the best from this uh, all I love the vanilla it's really unique I will bring it you see guys this um, vanilla from Starbucks I believe this is the most uh, this is sweeter than that one 
uh, but this one more creamer, uh, creamy than the uh, vanilla. This one they are using the Blondie Roast Espresso, so that's why I think it's more sweeter. But this one I don't know what they are using, but it is like more intense and co coffee feeling for me, and less sweetness. Uh, it's white mocha, here is vanilla, but this one much sweet than that one, more sweet I mean. Uh, more than the white uh, mocha, but white mocha I love it also. But still, my favorite uh, is the uh, vanilla. It's really, uh, it's better than even the toffee in it. I really love it. So yeah, this ends our video, guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. See you next time with another coffee tasting uh, reviewing video, and uh, have a nice day.